Hello everybody, it's your old mate Nat Vegas with another Ableton Live tutorial and this is a really quick simple one today. It is how do you mute a track in Ableton Live and uh, for those of you who know how to do that it might seem silly but a few people have asked me because if you're used to using a traditional digital audio workstation you're used to an S button and an M button solo and mute those are kind of, you know, old school, you expect to see them everywhere you go. But in Ableton Live, it's not quite an S and an M, it's just this little yellow button here. And this is just a track off and on. So very simple, and it works for MIDI tracks, it works for audio tracks, it works for return tracks. And if you can't see these little yellow buttons, that's because you haven't got your mixer section engaged, which is this little yellow button here. These little yellow buttons show and hide different aspects in the arrange view. So they got the IO, the, which is the in out, the R, which is the return tracks. These, those are your effects tracks down the bottom. You got the M, which is the mixer view, and that's what we want. So you can. You can solo this track, so you can only hear this. Yeah. Getting a little bit uh, Latin here. And you can unsolo that. There's nothing on the other tracks. But if I click the other button, there you go. You've just turned that track off. So that's effectively muted. And if you want to unmute it, you just click that again. And uh, if you want to learn some of these more basic functions, just... Uh, Click the uh, link in the description below to my Ableton Live crash course, which is a one hour video that will tell you everything you need to know to get started with Ableton Live. And uh, that's free. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hope it was useful for you. And uh, stick around on this channel and check out uh, everything else we've got here. And you stay sexy.